Now, do I think the Bowflex 552s are worth the money? So I've actually had these dumbbells for about five years now, but I never really used them as extensively as I have in the last seven months with quarantine. And I've pretty much just been doing home workouts with these dumbbells and a couple of other pieces of equipment. I initially got these on Amazon for like $300, although I know that's not the price right now. Um, I think the last time when I looked at the Bowflex website, it was about $350 for the 552s. Now going into what I actually like about the dumbbells is that it actually goes from five pounds all the way up to 52 and a half pounds, which pretty much essentially replaces 15 pairs of dumbbells. Uh, so from five pounds to 25 pounds, it actually goes up in increments of two and a half pounds. And from there, it actually goes up in five pounds all the way up to 50 pounds. And then you have two and a half pounds that adds up to the 52 and a half pounds. And just the fact that it replaces 15 pairs of dumbbells, um, you just save so much space, man. Uh, I mean, especially if you're like working out in like a small area like I do, I essentially just work out in like this one small living room here in like my one bedroom apartment. It saves up so much space and I can literally just throw these dumbbells in the corner and just forget that I have them. So. Um, if you like work out in like a small apartment or if you don't really like have like a dedicated workout area, these dumbbells are really great for that. In terms of changing the weight of the dumbbells, it's so freaking easy and that's one of the biggest things that I love about it. You literally just put it in the case itself and you literally just turn the dials on both ends and the weight has changed and it's absolutely magical, man. And it's essentially great for like if you're doing drop sets, let's say for example you're doing like incline bench press uh, with the dumbbells and then you immediately want to do a drop set right after your last set. Well, you could just finish your, your set, uh, put the dumbbells in the rack, and just change the weights immediately and get back to your drop set. Um, and it's, it's just so quick and easy just to change the, uh, the weight. And honestly, like from me having these dumbbells for like five years, I've honestly never had like any problem with changing the weight whatsoever. Another good thing about these dumbbells is they're actually pretty durable. They look like plastic and they do feel like plastic guys, but they are actually pretty freaking durable, man. Um, but honestly, just keep in mind, I don't freaking throw these weights around and nor do I like drop them on the floor like, like you would see other people do in the gym. Um, you know, especially if you're gonna be paying good money for these things, you don't wanna really be throw, uh, throwing them around or anything like that. But honestly, like I've done so many different types of exercises with these. I've done like overhead presses, uh, bench press. I've done rows with these. Uh, I've done squats with these. I've even like hung these dumbbells around like my dip belt to do pull-ups. And honestly, like I've never had any issue with these. Um, I've even done like push-ups on top of these things, putting my body weight over it. And I've never had any fear of this like breaking down on me. So uh, these uh, dumbbells are actually pretty freaking durable. Okay, now moving on to what I don't like about it. The dumbbells are absolutely freaking huge, man. Uh, even for just like the five pounders, uh, they're so freaking long and they're so freaking like huge. And they, they kind of, it could kind of like feel kind of clunky, all right? Um, especially just trying to do curls with the five pounders, like the dumbbells kind of like smack together a little bit, just depending on like your angle. Um, and honestly, even like trying to do like a dumbbell bench press, like the dumbbells get kind of clanked together just because they're so freaking big. And I, I guess this is the way that they have to be designed, uh, just because like, you know, the weights are adjustable and they have to fit a particular specification. But there, that's just one caveat that I, I just, I'm not, a fan of is that they're so freaking huge. I mean, when you go to a regular gym and you're messing around with like the 50 pounders, the 50 pounders really aren't that huge. But the 50 pounders with these Bowflex dumbbells, it feels like you're like holding like rocks in your hands, man. Another thing I don't like about the Bowflex dumbbells is the handles because they're not straight. It, fe it almost feels like you're using a fat grip with a regular dumbbell. Um, so the handle of the Bowflex dumbbells, it's kind of like a little oval shape. Um, and it, it just feels a little irregular to me. Uh, and not only that, but like there's the, the grip of the handles is really not that great. All right. Now I know it has that little rubber piece to kind of like help with the grip, but it's just not as great as you would use, uh, with a regular dumbbell in the gym where there's actually knurling, uh, with, with the, uh, the iron. But with these, the handle feels kind of plastic. Uh, I'm not a fan of the rubber there. The grip is kind of trash. And, uh, there's been instances where I've gone barehanded and, you know, I'm trying, I'm going heavy on like an overhead press or like a bench press. And like, it, I feel like the, the dumbbell's falling out of my hands. All right. Now, now you can use chalk if you guys have chalk, but if you're like me working out in an apartment, I'm not going to be using chalk and like dirty my own apartment. All right. That's just going to cause a mess for me. <laughs> so what I've actually had to do as an alternative is to actually use workout gloves. I only use workout gloves when I'm actually working out here just because of the dumbbells. Uh, and that's the only way I can get grip on these dumbbells. 
And if you're doing like pulling movements, uh, you could actually use straps as an alternative if you can't use chalk. But I'm just not a fan of the handles of these dumbbells and I think they're absolutely trash. Now the last thing that I don't like about these dumbbells is the fact that they only go up to 52 and a half pounds. Now for most people going up to 52 and a half pounds would be okay, especially if you're brand new uh, to like working out and stuff like that. But honestly, like I would say for like most people watching this video, uh, for most of you guys, like eventually you're gonna outgrow the 52 and a half pounds, all right? Um, and there's only so much that you could actually do with 52 and a half pounds. There's only so much volume that you could actually do with that. But at some point, um, especially if you're a dedicated home workout person and you have a dedicated like home gym, you're eventually gonna have to move on from the 52 and a half pounds. And especially if you're trying to do like progressive overload, you eventually wanna go, wanna go up to like 55 pounds, 60 pounds, et cetera, et cetera. I've actually used resistance bands uh, in conjunction with the 552s. So uh, if the 52 and a half pounds is limiting to you, just um, use it in conjunction with resistance bands to like add a little bit more weight. Now, do I think the Bowflex 552s are worth the money? I definitely think they are worth the $350 that you would spend just to get them. Um, even with all of the cons that I just listed with uh, the, the grip being trash, uh, the dumbbells being huge, or the weight only going up to 52 and a half pounds, there are still alternative ways that you could use to kind of like get around that. But if you have a dedicated gym, uh, maybe like you have like a garage gym and you're going to be working out at home like 100% and you're never gonna go to a gym, I would definitely invest in probably the Bowflex 1090s because it actually goes up to 90 pounds versus the 552s which only goes up to 52 and a half pounds because like I mentioned, eventually you're going to outgrow the 52 and a half pounds, man, and you're going to want to, uh, you know, progress a lot more. But if you're only working out at home, maybe like once a week or once in a blue moon, then the 552s are still great because you could just use them, get a crazy pump. Uh, and just call it a workout. But if you're, if like I said, if you have like a dedicated home gym, like you're gonna be working out there like full time, like 100%, never going to a gym, I would definitely invest in the 1090s because it actually goes up to 90 pounds. It's a bigger investment, honestly. Like I think I, when I looked on the website, I think it was like $760. And I don't think that includes shipping, all right? So, you know, don't hold me to it. Uh, but it definitely is a bigger investment, guys. But um, just remember that, this, this is like a long-term investment, all right? Like I mentioned, I spent like 300 bucks for these 552s and it's been like five years now and next year is gonna be six years. So uh, when you kind of like divide the math like that, like when I spent like 300 bucks and uh, it's been like five years, that's pretty much been like 60 bucks a year that like I've pretty much invested in. And it's definitely worth it when you account for like how many workouts you've done, uh, how many sets you've done with it, how many reps you've done with it, and like the gains that you've made with it, uh, not just physically, but also mentally, all right? So um, you just gotta remember that it's, it is an investment, okay? But it's an investment for your own health and just for your own mind, all right? So uh, that's just my review of these 552s and hopefully it helped you guys out, all right? If you guys have any questions about these dumbbells, let me know down below and I will respond to you as soon as I can, all right? But I will see you guys in the next video. Your own style, that's just slang for you, ain't got it though Talking like you got it, that's a problem, I might let them know Feed you like I'm else, it's on my look, 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 let it go Eeny, eeny,